Yeah, that's right, fucking wedges and chicken. I am... I have the worst fucking diet ever. Um, I don't know if I ever will have a good diet. <sighs> okay. Now, no potency runes. Um... Oh, fucking hell, just, 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 just one Jara. Okay. And that's it. Jara, the Kepa, Jijota. Ooh. A glyph of frost. That's not bad. Yeah, hey, yeah, I got Jaira back. <laughs> Stamina. Jajota. Jaira, the knee. Jajota. So what does that one do? Just add stamina. That's pretty sick. Alright. Let's do the grind. Hear ye, card sharps and collectors. Test your wits and courage in a brand new card game. Tales of Tribute. Dram of Magica. Alright. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. Everyone likes this, the outfit outfit station. That's pretty sick. I do like, like... I do like the amount of, um... Wait, what? I did the wrong thing there. Oh. Boy! Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. It's actually a dog. You there. How would you like to do something worthwhile? Nope. No worthwhileness for me today. Only riding my dog my my zombie dog. Oh yeah. Five fold venom. 
Five failed federations to you too, my good man. You too. Hey! Hey, 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 a shame, how are ya? It's been a shame that I haven't seen you in a while. Hey! Get up. Oh my gosh. I gotta stop making you using your name as a pun. Yeah, good for that, and, uh, yeah. Now we just need to sell that damn dram. The damn dram! Hey! Hear now the lesson of the divine body. That was a weird person running around. Hear ye, card sharps and collectors! your wits and courage in a brand new card game, Tales of Tribute. You've told me that 50 times already. I don't wanna... Alright, where's the selling, la selling lady? Where are you? Was it glow dust and snowberries? Or... You've been busting your ass, but pay off fun time tomorrow night. You're going to see the Channel 5 guy live! Andrew Callahan! Yeah, yeah. Alchemy. Ooh. Nice. Enchanting. Oh, nice. Can use the the purple aspect stones. Fuck yes. Crafting is still lagging behind, but that's okay. I can deal. Yes, log out. Indeed. Character is alert. Oh yeah, let's make ourselves a KFC sandwich. Because we had KFC last night. And have an air fryer. Oh yeah. Damn, it's so light with, without all my um, light cancelling stuff. I really like this new look I'm trying today. I'm gonna do it more. I like it. Lord oh, kitty. Alright, Bok Nazuli. What the fuck? 
two flat flat tires. Fuck that. Someone's been playing you for a laugh. I want training, damn it. <clears throat> Everything all at once. Yeah, it's always that way, isn't it? It's always everything at the same time. Tis some bullshit. Yeah, I bet you do. Sharps and collectors, test your wits and courage in a brand new card game, Tales of Tribute. Do you know how long I've been looking for you? Oh, still researching it for seven hours. All right. Um, horsey time. Hopefully, I have enough cash. If I don't have any cash, that'll be sad. My horses are beauties. Hey, I have enough cash. But now I need to start getting some more. So I need to get more some more cash. Hear ye, card sharps and collectors. Test your wits and courage in a brand new card game. Welcome. I don't think there's anything I can really pause it. So do is uh, double check here to see that I've got everything working. Yep. Yeah. All right. Because I can't. I don't have enough materials to craft. Um. um Ten dwarven ingots. How many do I? So twenty. So a dagger would mean five. Eight. And eight. What was eight? Oh fuck! I'm one off from being able to make um, this Dwarven set. I can help. That's that. That's fucking rude. Stable master. My horses are beautiful. <clears throat> oh wow, thirty seconds. 
What timing? That's the first time that's happened. That's some hella cool timing on my part. Just show up right when they're about to do it. Eleven, ten, nine. And there we go. Alright, cool. Carry capacity has gone up. I can now carry more shit. I'm pretty sure I don't... That, that, I'm pretty sure Here I've, like, you, made all the shit. And collectors, test your wits and courage in a brand new mm -hmm. No! Game. Tales of tribute. I hope to be done here. Grilled hair? No. Why would I want to grill hair? That just sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, I've already done this. Do I have anything in my inventory? Fucking nothing! Winning! I just need to double check if I've got, um, shit happening. Oh, yes. Equipment crafting writ, clear gear. A writ from the board. A normal cotton rope. Coming up. That is not my crafting station. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Research time. Yes! Anything I can use, tr I can learn training from. Alright, so... 20 hours, 20 hours, 10 hours, 10 hours... Oh, everything's 10 hours, alright, fine. Then your kitty got sick. We need, we need, we need, free, we need uh, Medicare for all, including pets. Pardon me. Ooh. It's a shit ton of materials. Also, someone standing next to me has got some, like, weird clothes. Their butt has clothes on it. Or they painted their butt? I don't know. I don't know. Socialized healthcare for pets? Fuck yes. Ugh. I'm so tired though, like I spent last night, um, or yes, most of yesterday, and like last night as well, like doing packing, as you can see, like I've got boxes, and my, my um, heavy duty storage boxes, because I'm so used to fucking moving, that I actually have permanent boxes for moving now. That's my life. I fucking hate it. So instead, I escape to Realms. Or I escape to Race War, the game. Which is basically what this game is. Race War. Yeah. Jump over the horse! Yeah, yeah. Why is everyone wearing, like, such skimpy fucking outfits? Does that mean that they've got a higher, like, um, armor rating than me? That's how video games work, right? The skimpier, the better. Yay! In 
Shipment inception. Yeah. Oh, fuck you, Dunkin' Half Old God. and collectors test your wits and courage in a brand new card game tales of tribute You like delivering alcohol the most, it's mostly so chill. Alcoholics are the best at receiving delivery. <laughs> Fair enough. Come in oh, I need shit tons more cash. Alright, so. That's that done, I guess. Scattered and scattered, huh? Shattered and scattered. But yeah, I'm working my way around the map to like do all of the stuff. Yeah. That's all the the next stuff I think. Raven watch or whatever. quests do I fucking have? Uh, 22. I'm almost at my limit, and I'm... Damn it! Why doesn't it... Why does it make me do... I hate that it... Red for trading post... I don't even know where that is! I bet you do. I bet you do. Um... But yeah. That's all I really needed to do right now. I might play some of this later. In my own time. In which case, I shall say, wave. Ah, oh, doesn't do it when I do that. Lame. L log and out quit. I've got everything ready for the next day. I've got the research going. I've bought the horses, horse stuff. Ah. I am. The Donald is running again, you're sorry for America. That's just going to split the vote, isn't it? That's going to split the vote between DeSantis and uh, Donald Donald Trump, right? I thought that that was a bad thing. I think, I thought, I would have thought that would have been bad for the Republican Party if he ran again. Like, he's not as popular anymore. He's like a has-been. I mean, we could be surprised again, but like, I don't know. Ooh, yeah, that's right, the RSI launcher. I'm updating the RSI launcher, but, um, fucking hell. I don't even remember what the password is. Give me a sec. Uh, let's get in first person. Let's see my messy background better. <gasps> oh yeah, I forgot to tweet it. I was looking something up and I cannot remember what it is. Oh yes, passwords. Oh. 
Ah, found it. Ah, so I need to update it. They have uh, launched a free fly event um, on uh, Star Citizen at the moment, so I'm I'm going to give that a go. Has to run, and then there is the question of nomination. Anyone can run, but nominations are granted collectively by the respective parties, uh, as I understand it. Yeah, I mean, I, d I don't understand it. So I, I don't know. Again, no matter who runs next year, bombings will increase around the world. Sad but true. We can proceed. All right, let's let let's have some fun. Let's just have some. Uh, some satisfactory. Oh, you're gonna do this to me today, are you? You're gonna you're gonna make it so that I have to reload the dock. Okay, cool. Satisfactorio. Oh yeah, my fave game at the moment. Actually, is it like Elder Scrolls is up there? Oh, so many games to play. So my little time. So little time for shit. All right. So. I don't know if I've... Oh yeah, check it out. Progression. Oh, they've like, they've separated the um, stuff. Also, apparently, apparently, you can finally, finally, I can name them. Yay! Ben! Thank you, Ben. Jerry. Jerry. Yay. They've got names now. That's so cool. Ah! It's Ben. Jerry. Um. <clears throat> ben and Jerry. Oh crap, what, are, what were the other names that I named them? I named them other shit. Mmm, Ben and Jerry. <sighs> oh fuck. I don't know, I'm gonna call this one Theodore. Agnes. Yeah, I'm still trying to remember. I can't remember what I called them originally. Did have names for all of them. All I remember now is Ben and Jerry. I'm Tim. 
and Eric. Tim and Eric, Theodore and Agnes, and Ben and Jerry. I think that's pretty good. But yeah. I need to get more hard drives as well. But before that gets down, let's let's find a place to build. Here's the qu now here's the question, where do I build this fucking thing? I mean I could build it in there. I could put it in 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 this thing and actually get some use out of it. Could build it over here. Nah. Um, not a lot of space over there. I'm thinking of of um, building most of the like the builds that I'm gonna be going for like over this side here. When I like, I'm gonna rebuild this whole like highway system. So I I can make it better now and easier, and I can also. I can also blueprint it as well, which is going to be fucking incredible. Wow. So I could build it up here, around here. And start doing stuff there. Because I think I'll um, completely re re redo the... Um, these two here anyway. So I could put it where this is right now. Decisions, decisions. And more decisions. Ah, what the fuck? Okay, that's a thing that I didn't... Whoa! Okay, that's interesting. Wasn't expecting that to happen. Does that happen on all of this? Hold on. That's weird. Oh! It does. What the hell? What? Some of these have no, like... I'm clipping through these things now. What the fuck? I'm... I think I found a bug. <laughs> it's an interesting damn bug, but, uh, okay. Weird flex, but okay. I'm so excited, though. Fuck. There's so many, so much, po so many possibilities now for crafting. Like, I'm actually super excited. And I'm thinking that I will tear the, this thing the fuck down in order to build my, um blueprint museum because that it, it shall be a museum oh actually here oh no here yeah fuck build tearing that down played runescape for the first time game looks like it's uh in, all infested by pay to play wind stuff there's some interesting interesting stuff there but a lot of craft craft what's craft a lot of crafting do you mean or like what, what, what are we doing what are we talking about yeah i'm gonna build it over here Oh yeah, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. All right, before that, before I start the build, I'm going to check out and see how this is all running now. I also need to drop off all of the random crap that I picked up before from Ben, Jerry, Agnes, Theodore, Tim, and Eric. I think maybe I did call them Tim and Eric originally. Why wouldn't I remember that? Weird. Is old garbage software. 
Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh oh, I missed a spot. Ah! Buttons aren't working either, for some reason. Key binding. Holster equipment, where is it? Change build mode, interact, flashlight, build menu, the fuck? Building eyedropper, Q. Confirm. Hey, now it's working. Uh, there's some weird snapping glitches now. Like, see, sometimes some of the, sometimes these um. I can I can actually like clip through these now. That's 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 weird. That shouldn't be happening. <laughs> Rot row. It's a feature, not a bug. Oh, that's not... That's uh, a bad thing. Because I actually can't put these down anymore. That's weird. Why is that happening?
Yeah, some of these things are like transparent, like almost it seems. Like I can walk through it. See, watch this. Like, like I actually fall through this stuff now. Uh oh. Devs. Devs, there's that. There is. There are bugs. The bugs are here. There's a new update, and bugs are in existence. Oh dear. It also means that since they they are like half of them, like I can't see. It means that yeah, I'll 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 click on it and it won't work, or it, it will decide. Oh no. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Who knows? Fucking hell, that's that's a little bit frustrating, I have to admit. TV test, phone test. Vice is us. Alright, cool. I put all the way this I put away all the stuff that I need to. Now I can work my way through my weird ass fucking mall that I made. Yeah, you know, are you watching on both your spare phone through Wi Fi and be wide big speaking screen? Ooh. Stereo. <sighs> ah, like latency wise. Wait, what's supposed to be coming out of you? Circuit boards? Now, why are there too many circuit boards coming out of you? Where are you going? Going into this to make... Computers. Oh, wow. A lot of computers. I'll let that... I'll let that slide. What's in this one? Nice. 
This one mm -hmm. is... G in H. Hmm. Cool. And now I am full of all of the goodies that I need. So it's maybe I need a little bit more uh, fuel for my jetpack. If you're ever wondering what this thing is. That is the cent center point of my of uh, high charity. So in case I ever need to do repairs on it somehow or change shit. Ah! And that's my bouncy castle. Nice. Now I should be ready to build. Let us begin. Oh, okay. That's annoying. Okay, so... Yeah, two bugs so far. One, part, parts of the parts of the structures are... Um, I fall through now. And uh, now I can only um, paint drop at all things when I already have an item out. So, yeah. A little bit frustrating. But when I'm, like, just walking around like this, I can't select anything. Wait. Wait. Well, some things do, some things don't. It, there, there's... There's a lot... Oh, my gosh. Get out of here. Gun. Gun. Get. Gun. Get. Get. Gun. 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 Get. Or you can do that too. Do they not drop items anymore? Maybe not. Oh, well, it's to be expected that uh, things will start having troubles. I mean, even Ireland had the troubles. Get it?
This is where it will be. Okay. Also, this thing doesn't need to exist anymore, so... 
Da 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 da. Bye. It was an it was an ugly it was an ugly building anyway. Wow, okay. Holy shit, okay, cool. Oh. That's pretty fucked. So, y'all remember when I told you that uh, my nephews were... Uh, being uh, taught younger creationism. Well, apparently the school has uh, sent out a communication to parents, getting them to sign, trying to get them to sign a petition to stop the Western Australian government from increasing protections for LGBT uh, QI plus students and teachers. Yeah, fucking, that's right, isn't it? The Australian Association of Christian Schools. <laughs> I, I do like that aacs.org.au is the Australian Association of Convenience Stores, but beside the point that 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 that's a, that was a little bit of a funny. The Department of the Attorney General of Justice released a draft anti-discrimination amendment bill 2022 for public consultation. The exposure draft bill contains a number of, number of proposed for reforms to the Anti-Discrimination Act.
because uh, that's uh, Northern Territory. Equal Opportunity Act. Religious freedom. So basically, religion, free, religious freedom is something that um, these people use as an excuse to um, as an excuse to um, impose their religion on other people. Basically, taking away other people's freedoms. Like that. That is what it does. If they hide behind this religious freedom bullshit um, in order to um, be discriminate against um, people like me. Trying to use algebra to teach CRT, CRT and do HRT, brother. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> Underlying Australian belief in a fair go. Well, I'm sorry, but like there is no a fair go for people uh, in the LGBTQIA plus community. I'm not sorry to say that. Should the exception contained in section 73 of the act be retained or removed? That's the exceptions. All right, so uh, short title, the Equal Opportunity Act 1984 title. Let me blow it up so I can see it a bit better. Uh, the object of this act are to eliminate, so far as possible, discrimination against persons on the ground of sex, marital status or pregnancy, family responsibility or family status, sexual orientation, race, religious or political conviction, impairment, age, publication of relevant details on the fines enforcement registrar's website, or in certain cases, gender history in the areas of work, um, accommodation, education, the provision of goods, facilities and services, and the activities of clubs. Basically... The, the fair go you had, yeah, fucking hell, like, I've had, I, I have had more than my fair share of a go, I will say that, you know, I've had it good, I've had it very good, I'm struggling, but I've had it very good, many people struggle worse than me.
Yeah. So yeah. So basically, they are looking to um, what this basically is. is private schools which get government funding in Australia. Yeah, fucking incredible. Why that exists, I don't know. Um, yeah, fuck, fuck private schools. Um, our p private uh, Christian public schools are currently lobbying the government in order to remove protect, in order to continue to have the right to discriminate against LGBTQIA plus people. Basically, that is what they're wanting to do. That is fucking disgusting. That is, these people here, these people here, the Australian Association of Christian Schools, about us, when uh, the capitalists take tax money, they always do, they always do. So that's John Metcalf, Simon Hurd, John Linden, Dr. Diane Dawson, Dr. fucking hell, and Graham Evans, a CEO. Why do churches have fucking CEOs? This is a lobbying corporation. It's a corporation that does lobbying on the on on the behalf of uh, Christian private schools in order to get money and to discriminate against people. This is absolutely disgusting. Here it is. Here it is. These fucking disgusting people. The right of parents to be discriminating towards their own children. This is what this is. You know what this is, right? Number five. No, sorry. Um, and so one, affirm that parents have primary responsibility for the education of their children. Governments have an important role to facil facilitate that parental responsibility. Fuck off. If you're a shitty parent, then you shouldn't be given the. Re you shouldn't have the responsibility of being given that responsibility. Um, you should like. Experts in their fields are there to teach your kids. Um, fuck you. Like, if you're going to teach them... If you want to teach them bullshit, then teach it on your own time. <clears throat> Support the right of parents to, parents to choose what school their child attends. Well, I mean, like, nobody has those rights here in Australia. It's all locked to regions and gerrymandering. That's a whole issue in its... In its uh, itself, um, to recognise the important role that faith-based faith schools play in educating children consistent with the faith and values of their parents, and that some faith-based schools have been established to serve a particular faith community. I don't know. Seems like seems like them t creating their own... Um, seems like... It sounds like these, these Christians can't integrate into society properly, and they're going to become a problem later on. That's what it sounds like to me. Um, emphasize that in order to, for faith-based schools to properly and completely fulfill their role, it is essential they retain the right to, A, fill all staffing positions with staff whose faith and values are consistent with the stated faith and values of the school, which have been expressly chosen by the parents of the enrolled children, i.e., that they get to discriminate against gay people, basically. That is what they want. They want to be able to discriminate against gay people. Control plus, control plus. <laughs> Small text. All right, there we go, there we go. Um, they, they want to... Um, they want to uh, be allowed to discriminate against people like me. 
for something things that I can't things that we can't change about ourselves. So go fuck yourself. Um, require families to be active members of that faith community as a condition of enrollment in the school. If you are a private school that is wanting to exclude people, other people from the public from attending your school, then you should not be receiving government funding or any government, any form of government support. Go fuck yourself. Acknowledge those that disagree with the essential components of faith-based education are free to send their children to a different school of their choice. Um, okay. Um, if you don't like it, leave. Well, I mean, if you don't like the society that you live in, then you can fuck off. Uh, remind mem remind members of Parliament that Australia is a signatory to the in International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, which at Article 18 4, protects the liberty of parents dot 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 to ensure the religious and moral education of their children your right to discriminate against your rights to um uh have primary responsibility for the education of your children ends at my fucking neck you piece of shits uh, are concerned that some of the content of the Law Reform Commission's review of the uh, Equal Opportunity Act 1984 fails to properly recognise this right of parents and the role of faith-based schools. Again, you do not have the right to discriminate against other people. Not being able to discriminate against gay people is not discrimination. Um, these people want the government to allow them to abuse their children and to discriminate and hate and spread hatred against people who are minorities. And that is what this document is saying. If this is Christianity, you can go fuck yourself. I don't believe that it is. I believe these people are just horrible people. And and they're using um, school the schools involved in these people in these things sending sending letters out to the parents in order to lobby the government against this shit. Yeah, so 8,530 people in Perth right now um, want to be able to abuse their kids and to um, and to uh, be have have the government's blessing to discriminate against uh, people. You should you, no. Your religious freedom ends where my discrimination begins. You can you can do whatever the fuck you want. You can think whatever the fuck you want, but if your actions discriminate against a minority, then you can go fuck yourself. Yeah.
So yeah. The Australian Association of Christian Schools is a hate lobby group. Their advocacy is completely locked up Have a hi, hi, check this one out, Tasmania. Sexual orientation and gender identity conversion practices. LGBTQIA plus status is not a disorder or dysfunction. Clinical studies indicate that attempts to alter or suppress LGBTQIA plus status based on such a nation notion luck, lack efficiency and can harm LGBTQIA plus people. Harms include depression, loneliness, alienation, increased risk of drug abuse, suicidal ideation, and suicide attempts. Peak medical and psychological bodies consider SOGI conversion unscientific ineffective and dangerous um yeah uh generalizable national studies on SOGI SOGI conversion practices uh suggest that such such, such practices are uh, likely to be occurring in Tasmania a range of existing Tasmanian laws could potentially apply to some conversion practices however the current law seems to be incomplete and limited Queensland and the ACT have legislated for conversion practices, uh, and Victoria is preparing to ban them. Various ju foreign, foreign jurisdictions have banned or are considering banning conversion practices and international bodies. This group is... Lay this, this group, this group, the AACS, is currently lobbying the government... Lobbying the government to um, allow them to torture LGBTQ plus people. Fucking hell. Equal Opportunity Act. Disability Standards for Education. Religious Freedoms. All of these acts are designed to protect people from discrimination. And they are having that they, they are completely trying that they, they all that they are trying to do is uh increase hate against people. Also, fucking hell, that is a terrifying looking painting. Like, yeah, oh that one's alright. That one's that one's meh, that one's okay. What the fuck? Who drew this? Who 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 did they get to draw this one? Holy shit. These people. AACS National Office. But yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. And so they're connected to the ACL, another another um, hate group. Like, I call them a hate group because all they do is lobby the government to uh, to try and make uh, exceptions for Christians to torture their kids, abuse their kids, and also discriminate against adults. <clears throat> like, it doesn't take long to go down the, the, the rabbit hole for this. Institute for Civil Society. Traditional rights and liberties. The game is up for conservative Christians.
Ooh, okay. We're going on a rabbit hole. We're going on a journey right now. Australia is proudly known for being a country where everyone should get a fair go. One way we... They always talk about this fair go, but this fair go never seems to come up for LGBTQIA+. We safeguard our diverse society is through anti-discrimination laws. These laws protect people from being discriminated against on the basis of their age, gender, race, disability, sexual orientation and gender identity. But what about people's religion or lack of religious belief? Well, this is an important attribute for many people, but it is not protected in federal New South Wales or South Australian anti-discrimination laws. Mm. There have been a growing number of cases in Australia where people are mistreated or sued for respectfully expressing their religious beliefs or for living out their faith. For example... Every single one of these has been people who have been, who have in turn discriminated against someone else. A Christian wedding photographer in Western Australia who agreed to photograph a couple's gay wedding was taken to a tribunal by the couple for respectfully stating that he supported traditional marriage. Islamophobia.com.au, okay. Okay, buddy. No, oh, come on. Wait, where's the where? Where is the link? Uh, AustraliaWatch.com. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, hey, got even smaller text now for you. All right, here we go. So let's look at some of these uh, examples. Rohan is a Christian doctor from Queensland. Rohan posted on Twitter sharing his Christian perspective on abortion. An overseas Twitter... What were his perspectives? What were what were his um, perspective? Made him over to have compulsory one on one re education with an approved supervisor on the use of um, social media. No, but like receipts. Receipts. Rohan, what's. have been de identified where settlements were. Co okay, so, so, so this, this one we can call bullshit, okay? Uh, Miranda is bullshit, 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 ah, Katrina, here we go, this example of freedom of speech in Australia outlines the experience of Katrina Tate, a professional pro photographer, ah, a professional photogra photographer who lives in uh, Queensland, signed an online position promoted by the Australian Christian lobby that opposed the drag queen, uh, story time in local qu Brisbane public libraries. Being a mother of four and a devout Catholic, Katrina felt quite strongly about the issue and after signing the petition, she posted that she didn't think adult entertainers, okay, to, start to, to uh, actually happen in Brisbane, protecting children's innocent, um, okay, that, that has nothing to do with it. This comment was the beginning of a five-month journey in, uh, in a New South Wales anti-discrimination law for Katrina. Uh, 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 ordeal started with an LGBTQA plus Activists in New South Wales, South Wales saw her posting connected to Katrina's photography business. Activists personally contact, contacted Katrina by email and threatened to make a homosexual vilification complaint under New South Wales laws, even though Katrina lived in Queensland. Activists also sent to Katrina an email with a purported media release that named her, her business, her previous address, and her mobile phone number. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, some activists use uh, techniques like this, such known as doxing, uh, where personal information is published. Uh, Human rights law alliance didn't hear back. 
enclosing a complaint from uh, the activist rather than immediately dismiss what was obviously a worthless complaint. Okay, except that the complainant had decided to investigate. Immediately dismissed the complaint for a variety of reasons. The complainant is a serial complainant um, uh, known for bringing trivial and vexatious complaints, apparently. Uh... <laughs> Posting from Graceland. No reference to homosexuals in the post, only to adult entertainers. Uh, and Katrina had no uh, connection to the complainant. Uh... The activists withdrew the complaint in the New South Wales board had to drop their investigation. Okay, so nothing happened. Nothing lost. So, yeah, we just have a homophobic bitch um, uh, basically have, have a comeuppance. I don't give a fuck. Um, anything else? Here we go. Byron and... Oh my gosh, yeah. Fucking hell. Exclusion, facing exclusion because of their faith. They wanted to become foster parents. There's a dis desperate need for foster parents everywhere, like in, not just in Australia, so many children. Uh, so the Hordix uh, approached the foster agency Wansley to um, start the application process. Inclusivity problems. Oh, look. Nice flag. Uh, okay, so there's a foster agency Wansley to start an application process. The age of the children they applied to, to provide temporary foster care for children between the age of zero to five. Initially, Wansley considered that the Hordicks were potentially a fit household for a foster care care. Then the formal assessment uh, process began. The Hordicks went through an assessment process with two Wansley social workers where they were interviewed and assessed against uh, various competencies for fostering. Part of this uh, process includes involved the social workers asking a range of hypothetical questions about parenting, including case studies of, about how they would respond to a foster child uh, identified as LGBT. So... They told Wansley that they believed homosexuality was a sin, that they would never reject a foster child of those. They were happy to concede that placing a child with sexual sexuality issues with them would probably not be a good fit. The Hordicks did not think this was a problem as foster agencies routinely considered a culture. Um, so the Hordicks never dreamed that. Well, I, I mean, like, you're, you're bigots. You're, you're not good parents. <laughs> Uh, terminated the Hordix application to be um, foster parents telling the Hordix that they failed to provide a safe environment for a child. Yeah. Do you, do you, do you think teaching your kid that how being that homosexuality is a sin is just a bad thing to do if they're LGBT if you have a gay kid? No. If you're going to bring your kid up to be a bigot just like you, you're a shitty parent and you shouldn't be given a foster child. Like you are not just abusing uh, your child you're also um inflicting abuse on other children who your child has to inter has to interact with or other children who have to interact with your child who thinks that they're evil because they have chosen to do something wrong fuck you yeah they just want to be able to abuse their kids and abuse and torture their kids and they're just angry about it and they bring up um, Islamophobia, they bring up um, anti-Semitism, and they hide behind that in order to try and act as though Christianity is not a dominant fucking religion in the world that has a um, complete, completely dispro disproportionate uh, amount of power in the world. So yeah. Bullshit. Anyway, I want to find this. I actually do want to find this, um... 
story that they were talking about. Sorry, I, I closed all of these. I'm going to have to reopen all of them. Australian Christian Lobby, by the way, the Australian Christian Lobby is an actual hate group. Say no to queer-themed Santa photo shoot. Reject. Don't decriminalize drugs. Adopt the equality model of prostitution. They, these people are fucking ghouls. Your rights end where my face begins. It's absolutely fucking disgusting that, um... Sorry, I'm still trying to find it. Damn. There we go, Australia Watch. But yeah, um... They just... Yeah, this is... It's just fucking gross. It's just fucking gross. All right. Christian doctor. For... So Karis is a Christian GP. She displayed a notice in her practice advising patients that she didn't consult on contraception, assisted reproduction technology, or the termination of life. So you discrimination. You're discriminating against other people. Your faith ends... You're like, you are breaking the Hippocratic Oath by doing that. You're a piece of shit. So, oh, okay. Ma like, transphobia as well. Max is a Christian teacher in New South Wales who was fired for his conscientious objection to using a male name and pronouns for a biologically female child at school. I don't know. Sounds like these people are, like, just bringing it in on themselves. Oh, here we go. Jason Tay. Oh, he's sharing his story. Real Israel Folau. Australian Christian Lobby. These guys are these guys are actual fucking ghouls. Um, but I do want to Like they don't actually show any of the um stuff. Doesn't doesn't look like his business is uh, faulted at all.
Yeah, there's absolutely no um There's absolutely no fucking proof about this that What is the children? Was this about children? What? If he at first accepted and later mentions the conf conflict of belief, there is something definitely wrong. I, I I feel like there's something different deeper deeper in this that I I need to um I I I can't fucking get anything out of this. It's this white magazine goes into the red. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way to actually find out um, anything about this because. Uh... <laughs> Alphabet Mafia boss. Um, I don't know. Uh, snake. Solid snake. So yeah, I, I don't I, I don't believe that um, all that was done was him saying that um, that I I don't believe that because yeah something else happened and it's just interesting that there is nothing there's nothing on it. Yeah. So, like that, who knows? Who fucking knows? Who knows who's, uh, who, who, who this is? Jason, what, what? perhaps we can start with you and you can tell us what happened to you. I understand that you... And like, were... because there's nothing, there's nothing from the people who were suing him. Um, there's, there's no, like, proof that, I don't know what, um, what his, no. um, website says, actually... Who knows what they are? Service unavailable. Uh, 
There we go. We are Christians. Uh, we are also a Christian business, which means we view the world with a particular value system and hold ourselves to the highest standards in service and pursuit of excellence. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one. Well, so discriminate against people. We're a Christian team of specialist creative storytellers. None, none. You don't get to be discriminatory towards other people just because you think that Christianity allows you to do that. So Sued for discrimination look, yeah. by a lesbian couple. Tell us more. Yeah, that's right. I, uh, I got into some legal trouble last year because uh, I, I revealed a conflict of belief with a same-sex couple that was seeking uh, some of my services. And um, they, actually, they actually wanted a family shoot. And, and I, I gave them the response that I give to all the couples that, uh, same-sex couples that want, want me to shoot their wedding. And um, I'll just backtrack a bit, but I, I've, been, I've been a wedding photographer for eight years. And, you know, years ago, I saw this coming years ago. And so I've had years to think about how to respond uh, to when I get a, an inquiry like this. And, uh, my response has always been, uh, always been the same, and that is that you know, we, 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 we uh, are subjective, you know, we, we have a subjective product, so we're visual storytellers, mm. and uh, that means that I, I believe that the best product you'll get uh, is from somebody who doesn't have a religious conflict, right? So I tell them that I, I'm a Christian, I have a religious conflict with same-sex marriage, and you'll probably get the best result from somebody who doesn't have that. You, so, you know, I've got some, I've got... So, like, no, like, Christianity does not mean be discriminating towards other people. Uh, go fuck yourself. I am a Christian, and I am queer as fuck. Go fuck yourself. That is your subjective belief bleeding into your business. You didn't even have to say that. You just either say, I, I, I just go ahead with it. You, you, you just being a prick to people. You literally just said to these people that uh, you don't think that their marriage is valid. You're a piece of shit, and you deserved everything that came to you, and you probably deserve worse. An option for you. I... What is this? It's just like it's just like oh oh I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a cunt to people. And then when it comes back to bite me, it's Pikachu face with these people. If you try and use your religion as an excuse to be a fucking cunt to people, don't be surprised when it comes back to bite you in the fucking ass. Your rights end where my face begins. Here's a list of photographers that are my peers that would love to do the, the job for you and they don't have that conflict. Um, the other option is if you really love our work and you still want me to shoot for you, I'll do it and there's no difference in our skills or professionalism. So you uh, didn't refuse to provide service? No. Exactly. No, not even that. He just wanted to tell them that they were, that, that uh, he thinks that they deserve to go to hell. That's basically it. This guy is like, in the nicest possible way, saying, I think that, um, that gay marriage is wrong. And thinks that, that it's just okay to say that to people who are, like, a, a, a married couple. He thinks that's okay to say to someone who's in a, who's, who's, like, to a couple that's married. To, to act as though religion is some sort of protection to being a cunt. Well, it's not. And it shouldn't be. You are just a cunt. And the ACL is a hate group. So, yeah. Fuck all of these people, eh? Freedom of religion? Marriage. 
In another instance, a university disciplined and suspended a student simply for praying with another student who was struggling with anxiety and... Doubt. Fucking doubt. Oh, Andrew. Okay. We're going to go through these. It's a... Oh, no, it's so this is a protected one. Universal's code of conduct says people should be able to express and defend their views and beliefs. Andrew's conduct and views were de deemed unsafe. Well, yeah, yeah, they were. Um, so, yeah, like, even if I take this at face value, you're still being a bigot. <laughs> yeah, like, hypothetically, what would he do if his friend told him he was gay? Andrew was surprised at the question, but answered saying that although he doesn't agree with homosexual conduct... Homosexual conduct? Um, so, yeah. Andrew said, it, 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 Andrew, this guy personally said, oh yeah, the, 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 that guy's a fucking, a, a fucking sin, a dirty sinner. But you know, I, I'd still be a, a, a good friend and love him despite him doing the wrong thing. No, no, it's not okay. It's not okay. And um, yeah, I, I call bullshit. I call bullshit and I guarantee you that there is more to this story. So yeah, being suspended for um, saying that homosexuality is a sin is uh, pretty fair to me. Next. Agreed to be prayed with. There are many more cases. Oh wait. Oh okay. So they didn't even bring up the fact that um, so that that he was homophobic. Hey, they didn't even bring up his homophobic uh, th th things that he was saying. Anxiety okay, and cool. agreed to be prayed with. There are many more cases of people in Australia being punished. You know, like, uh, not telling the whole truth is still a lie. That's not very Christian of these people. And threatened for expressing their religious beliefs. You can Your freedom of belief ends at my discrimination. Go fuck yourself. You can find some of them here. For every one of these... And how fucking dare you hide behind anti-Semitism and, um, and uh, anti-Islam? How fucking dare you hide behind Jewish people who have been the most oppressed group, or like the most, most consistently oppressed group in history in the West? As if you have ever or will ever go through what the Jewish people faced, go fuck yourself. Documented cases. There are many more that go unnoticed. A poll in 2021 showed that almost a third of Australians report having experienced discrimination because of their religion or religious views. Furthermore, some states have brought in laws that, though seemingly well-meaning, have seriously limited people's religious freedoms. Victoria recently changed its Equal Opportunity Act, limiting the ability of faith-based organisations to prefer to employ staff who share and live out the faith of the organisation. Other states are considering doing the same. Under this law, if a teacher at a Christian or Muslim school had a side job as a sex worker, it is no longer clear that the school would be permitted to engage in any disciplinary action, even though it is The school should not be allowed to have any say over what a teacher does in their own time. Go fuck yourself. Holy shit. Clearly contrary to Christian and Muslim religious beliefs. As long as it is not, as in Western Australia, as long as it is not their primary source of income, it is fucking perfectly legal to be a sex worker, and if you interfere with their l wages or job, then you are discriminated against them. You are not being discriminated against. You are the one doing the discrimination. Go fuck yourself. 
Similarly, it is no longer clear that churches, synagogues and mosques can require that all their employees share their religious beliefs. Imagine a church or mosque being forced by law to employ someone who didn't believe the religion. Both the lack of protection from religious discrimination and this I'm kind sorry. of... Imagine... I'm sorry, like, let me reframe that the way it should be. Imagine a society where schools cannot discriminate against people because of their faith, beliefs, or gender, or sexuality. Imagine that. That's what you're fighting against. Then literally, these people aren't lobbying for any form of discrimination act other than an act designed to allow Christians to discriminate against other people. Make no fucking doubt that Christians will immediately, because they are the predominant group in Australia when it comes to religion, they will use that to discriminate against Jewish people and Islamic people. That is what they do. That is what they do in America. That is what they do in every Western country where they try and go for their religious freedoms. You do not have the freedom to discriminate against people. And if you are doing that, then go fuck off. And I don't know, Minecraft your way off a cliff or something. Illiberal legislation contradict Australia's international obligations as set out in the UN International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. And this is what they do. They look at civil and political rights. Your rights end where my face begins. I, I, I am going to say that In a response times. to the recommendation of the Ruddock Religious Freedom Review in 2018 and growing public demand, the federal government put out two draft bills for public comment in 2019 and introduced the Religious Discrimination Bill or RDB, into Parliament in late 2021. The RD which, was, which was a bill um, intended to allow uh, Christians to discriminate against other cultures and beliefs. RDB provides protection for individuals and groups against discrimination based on their religious belief. All right. I'm just going to take a short break. Maybe I can cool down a little bit. But um, yeah, don't go anywhere or do. Either way, though, we will be back very shortly. Right, I can't. I'm back. I, I really need to double down on this. Like, this is literally just people. This is literally um, schools. Schools receiving government, schools that do receive government funding using their money to lobby the government against torturing children and discriminating against children and adults for, th for immutable characteristics. This is so fucked. and activities or their lack of belief such as atheism it also allows religious organizations to choose to prefer to employ people who agree with the religious beliefs of the organization just like political parties choose to prefer to employ people that's not necessarily true when it comes to political parties anyone can join those organizations Right? You just get voted upon. Are you fucking kidding me? People who agree with the political beliefs of the party. The twisting the of the narrative does here is does not fucking enable real. discriminatory actions against any person on the basis of other attributes like sexual orientation or gender identity. Yeah. Such persons are protected. Yeah, they're protected because that is not a choice. Your religion and what you choose to believe about it is you choose to believe that homosexuality is a sin you choose to believe that 
That is a choice. Being gay is not a fucking choice. Did by separate legislation, namely the mm. Sex Discrimination Act. Yeah. Neither does the Religious Discrimination Bill legitimize hate speech. Yes, it does. I... It only takes... A quick thing to go through. She has advocated celibacy for those with uh, same-sex attraction. Like, we are looking at people who are in the nicest possible way telling you that what you can't change about yourself makes you a bad person. And that is actively damaging to people's psyche. You do not have the right to spread these beliefs if they damage other people's lives. Your religion needs to burn to the ground. The RDB is about giving every Australian a fair go in living out what's important to them and their... Everyone, except for non-Christians. ...communities. Unfortunately, despite a promising start, this bill was stalled in the Parliament in early 2022. Check Good. out our next video to understand why. In the meantime, share this video to raise awareness. Just lies, lies, and damned fucking lies. This entire thing. We just want to be able to discriminate. It's fucking disgusting. Disgusting! Just... Yeah. Yeah. And people think that it's just that they should just have the freedom to be a cunt. That is their <laughs> that it's literally their God given right, literally, to be a hateful, spiteful human being. Yeah, that's um, that's pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. It's uh, yeah. It's just yeah, hard to hard to fathom it really thinking about this stuff. This is just like... It's so... You don't... You don't notice it until it's there. And I'm fucking ashamed. That... Like, it just makes me ashamed to call myself Christian. I was taught love and acceptance and caring. Um, but these people just spread hate. Forked, forked tongue devils, indeed. It's horrible people. And then these people, like, act as if they're, like, doing some sort of loving thing to tell... <laughs> you know? To tell someone who's gay that, that, that... They're worthless. In the eyes of their god. How fucking awful is that? What kind of person do you have to be to believe in that? After all that's written in the Bible. What kind of person 
can believe that God would make homosexuality and then beat us over the head with it. It's like feeding a kid and then beating them because they ate. What is it, some kind of like superiority complex from these people? Do they just want to feel bigger than another person? And better about themselves by telling others that they deserve to go to hell. It's absolutely wild to me that that's something that uh, you that 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 people could believe. That's wild to me. It'll be the least compassionate group of people I've ever heard of. These people are actual fucking ghouls to believe the things that they do. You know, like, um, I, I can have good conversations with people. And, like, I, again, I don't want to, like, I'm not saying that these people are just fucking. I mean, like, I, I, I guess I'm calling them ghouls, which is, you know, pretty synonymous with, like, like a moral, uh, putting a moral claim on things, but uh, honestly, it's it's these people have been brought up to believe a certain thing about the world, which is just the opposite of what the Bible preaches about love and acceptance and community. How can you expect to have a loving and healthy community when you're treating people in this manner? You know, like I, I'll have like cordial conversations with like the fundamentalist Christians on on debates. You know, we'll be like you know friendly and shit. Ha ha. ha you know. Oh yeah, yeah. We're all just we're all just uh, beaming. But some of these people actually think that I uh, I'm gonna go to hell for being transgender. For, for something I literally can't change. Okay, Shane. You have a good one. Like, shit that I can't change about myself. Like... I don't know, it's just... very, very weird to me. That there is... there there is a disconnect there, but in reality, like, between the things a person says the things that they actually do, you know? It's weird as well, you know, because a lot of the stuff, it's just memes to these people. It doesn't actually mean anything to them to, it doesn't mean anything to a Christian to think that, um, you know, to believe that someone's going to hell because of their choices. It's like just an accepted reality with these people. I don't know. It's just bizarre that something so hateful could have been sp could sprung out of um, someone who spoke like consistently about love.
Am I ever gonna get around to actually doing the blueprints though? That's the question. <laughs> All these questions and more will be answered very shortly. <sighs> It's just so fucking weird when it's happening to, like, people. This shit is happening in front of you as well. Like, it's, it's a different thing entirely. It's one thing to talk about these things happening, like, you know, in America and, like, shitholes like that, but... Yeah, when you hear when 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 you hear about your um, nephew coming home and like spouting, you know, like young Earth uh, creationist talking points, it's just like, wait, what just happened? find out that the school that your um that like some of your family members kids go to was teaching them is actually going to the government and lobbying the things that are actively going to hurt their family members like me it's, um, it's a very strange thing to consider.
This is calming, though. Soothes the bones. Fucking hell, I hope they fixed that. I should probably put a bug report in. Should I put a bug report in? Alright, so, what? Let me do the bug report. Yeah. Bug report time! Alright, let's have a look. Do 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 replacement walls go wrong, maybe. Rebuild invulnerable aim, location in toxic areas, swamp color grading is extreme, blueprints, blueprints. Why are half foundations more than half a foundation wide? I mean, like, I like that. But, um, so origin, snapping with conveyors. Okay, well, no one else has put this one down. Huh. That looks weird. That's weird. I kind of like that they're not centered right, because um, it provides more options for building, but it's not it. Okay. New post. Question in one sentence. What shall we say? What is the question? It's not really a question, it's more of a statement. Um, some... Some... Damn it, I can't remember what they're called. What are they called? Metal beams.
Some beams are parts of beams. What do you call them? Aren't solid. And all through them. Um, um, Alright, categories. Bug. So, uh, version number experimental 8250. Summit. This must be a brand new bug. <laughs> um, and also, question in one status. Um, Paint dropper school bug or well, some for some objects the paint dropper button. Does not work unless have already got a build. Have my build done. Let me pull the Dismantle tool. So active. Bug. Submit. <laughs> oh, version number. Sheet. Yeah, I need to actually start doing some work to help. Help if I'm gonna be playing an experimental I should be like putting bug reports through Not just like enjoying the game should be helping I do love helping after all
Oh, shit. I have my uh, jetpack stuck on. Lol. Just the most relaxing music in the world now. Apparently there's something called a U limit, which means that like I might be like making this making a problem for myself in the future by doing this. Whoopsies!
could probably make this a blueprint, to be honest. I wonder if we can snap bl blueprints to different, um, schemes. Like, different, uh, uh hotkeys. So that might make it a little bit easier for me to do this decorative stuff. There we go. Gonna get myself another drink. and drink my up and go. Oh, thanks for sticking around. I'm sorry that my... I just realized that uh, the bug report is still up on this. Oh. Life. So. Unnecessary. I'm going to see, I, I, I'm going to see actually, hold on. Um, let's put down this blueprint design, I think. And we are going to make our first blueprint. It's a storage box, a designer. I wonder what the storage box is for. Wait. Do I have to put things into it to make it run? Okay. Alright, that is the center point. So, at the center point, I am going to put...
New blueprint. Set icon. Parts. Buildings. Select the image. Aha! So new category? Foundations. Or... I guess... Infrastructure... Basic infrastructure. Select the icon. Uh, add a subcategory, new subcategory, foundations, add blueprint here, the corner cap, apply the changes, then from memory I go into blueprints, basic infrastructure, and it is not that, wait. Wait, wait. Uh, when? Undefined? Nope, it has disappeared. I don't think I saved it. Alright. Yay! Let's see if it worked. Ta-da! Ta-da! Oh yeah! Is bound to the hotbar. Question is, what does it snap to? Whoa, bit of an interesting snapping. So we'll snap to guidelines. Yes. It's very interesting. Check that out. That's weird. It's off. Oh well. It was worth a try. I guess. It's, um... I wonder... Yeah, this is very interesting to me. How it's um, doing that. I wonder... Well, looks like that uh, it still needs some work. <laughs> um, this is going to be 
Hmm. This is going to be interesting, I think. Because it doesn't snap. It at least does the rotation snap, but it doesn't snap. And also seems to uh, be doing something weird. See how it's like a little bit down and in? Lame. Oh well. I'm sure that they'll um, get it sorted. Hey! Oh, thank you. I didn't do anything different though, did I? I don't think I did. Ah, oh, yeah, it's doing that thing. Ah. Ah. Yeah? I just got my hair style like that. Although I did um, wash my hair again last night, so that's probably washed more of the colour out. <laughs> so the, the, the part is definitely more noticeable now. So I can't use blueprints to make this any faster yet because of the way that it's because of the way that it snaps at the moment, which is uh, fucking annoying. But uh, whatevs, uh, I guess there's not much I can do about that at the moment. I'm not sure how the I'm not entirely sure of the complete um, uh, mechanics of how the how that system works yet, so I'm not, I don't know how to do like a workaround sort of thing yet, but I will figure it out. I will figure something out eventually. Or they'll fix it first. Who knows? Or I'll hit the U limit and just go crazy. I love how every time I go in here to do something new, I end up doing more foundations. But it is actually quite fun for me to do. I, I find this fun, damn it. So you're coming along with me on my ride. Suckers. <laughs> Sit. But yeah, uh, thankfully it looks like Poland is blaming um, the missile on Ukraine, or at least saying that, right, not, not that it's Ukraine's fault, but more like it's not Russia's fault, which, you know, is the more important answer to that question. 
I don't really give a fuck whose fault it is as long as it doesn't, like, World War 3 us into oblivion. Yeah. Only Star Wars. Or maybe less of that as well. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I don't usually think, I don't anthropomorphize, um, countries, or at least I try not to. I love this groovy tune. Do 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 Yeah, there is a because that there's a uh, Star Citizen free fly event. I'm going to be setting that up. Hopefully, I'll have that set up by tomorrow. Otherwise, you'll be watching me do the do some more Hotus fun. Yay! For funsies! Isn't it fun watching me mess around with stuff I don't understand very well? Like politics? Ah, oh, I'm just kidding, I know that. I know, I am good at the politic. What are you talking about? Fucking rude. Me. I'm so rude to myself. Don't be rude to yourself like I am. Be good to yourself. Like, um... I don't know. Jesus. Oh no, wait. Jesus did a thing. Ah! Jesus. Jesus did a... Did a... Did a... A Roblox on himself. Or at least he was... Like... 
disturbingly okay with it. sucks that I have to go to work now because like this is starting to look good and I've almost got like my basic um, plan out like space out here for uh, the blueprint museum There we go. Wunderbar. I wonder why the music keeps on cutting out. Really? I have resting bitch face? I'm, I'm like full on enjoying myself and not wanting to look at the time because I'm, I need to go to work. Maybe that's it. Secretly pissed off that I have to go to work instead of playing my game. Fucking rude! Did you try turning it off and off and on again? Alright, I'm out of concrete. That's as good a time- Alright, I'm out of concrete. I can't even do it. <laughs> I'm annoyed at work, <laughs> but but this is me having fun. <laughs> but yeah, I am looking forward to hopefully utilizing um, blueprints a bit more effectively. It looks like there's some some ways to go before I'll be able to like fully fully like make use of them. 
considering that the one blueprint I've made so far doesn't... isn't centered. It doesn't center properly, so... Gotta make this shit work. No one talk to me, do I? <laughs> no, damn it, I don't... That's the last thing I want. I want people to talk to me. Shit. Shit. Alright. Well. We made one blueprint. Um, and we've gotten halfway of... Through, through um, concreting the area that I'm planning on utilizing for the next project. Uh, everything looks pretty. That's gonna get removed at some point because uh, I, I want to change the way I'm doing these things. I want it to look bigger and better and amazing. Yahoo! So, until tomorrow, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and take care of someone else. And uh, yeah, hope you all have a good night's sleep, a good day, all of that jazz. Um, yeah, Lucy loves you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Mwah.